Hey, what's going on guys? So we have some Call of Duty news today. It's, you know, going around World War II. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay in the background. It is actually World at War gameplay because, you know, we are talking about World War II. So World at War gameplay is fitting for this. So going into what we're talking about. So um, they've announced that we are going to be getting these things called divisions. It's kind of replacing the creative class system that we currently have, which is uh, kind of have some people up in arms. They're scared about this. They don't know what this is going to be about. But I think that these divisions are going to be more representing of like battlefields type where they have categories of, you know, characters that have certain abilities and restricted to like certain weapons. So I'll tell you guys the five divisions that we currently have. So you got Airborne, Mountain, Infantry, Armored, and Expeditionary Force, uh, which I'll read the description right right now. Airborne first is a fight where you move fast and stay quiet. Um... It sounds like that's a Russian character with like submachine guns, which is interesting because why would they choose the title Airborne when Airborne people are usually jumping from the sky, you know, jumping from airplanes down down to the battlefield, or they're usually, you know, flying planes and jets. So, interesting name right there. Then you got Mountain focusing on precision and deadly sharpshooting. So, it sounds like Mountain's going to be our sniping class or support, scout, whatever class you want to call it. Um, then you got Infantry, the tip of the spear, so I'm assuming that's going to be like the in-your-face character that's going to be on the front lines, you know, using AR as SMG, which is kind of weird because it seems like infantry and airborne are kind of the same thing, but they're not the same thing. So, so let's see how that works. And you got armored brain, the heaviest firepower. So I'm assuming that this is going to be like our support character, you know, that has like scavenger, um, you know, LMGs, shotguns, you know, the, the big guns. So that's what armored is going to be in Expedition Force. It says packing heat with incendiary shells. Don't know what that means. Uh, does that mean that this has special bullets in their, you know, weapon? Or are they going from vehicles? I don't know. This is interesting. I'm just reading off the, uh, the you know, what the description is of each, you know, division or category of the characters are going to be. So, it's definitely an interesting take on this. I don't know how this is going to work. Um, I'm guessing we're going to see more at E3. So, if you guys are interested in checking out um, or interested in more you know info on this definitely stay tuned to the channel but yeah that's the visions they're replacing creative class with the visions um we're still gonna have the customization that we usually have but instead of you know being like full and free and creating our own setup you're gonna be have these unique um gameplay experiences with these divisions that you can create yourself it's kind of like a overwatch battlefield type of deal where you have these you know these set roles that you play and you you know, play your playstyle around that role, which is interesting. Definitely a new thing for Call of Duty. Um, I don't. I like I said, I can't, I can't judge you yet because we haven't ex we haven't experienced this. But you know, I will bring guys more updates on this when we see more. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed and enjoyed the gameplay in the background. It was definitely a lot of fun to play World at War, and I can't wait for World War Two. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned to the channel, and I'll catch you guys next time.